Having collected Lego for quite a long time now, just over 15 years, I have had my hands on a load of Lego sets. But some of the sets that I've picked up across the decade and a half, I still actually have built. So today, I thought it'd be a great chance to take a look at 10 sets that I still have built and have no intention of breaking apart. So I think we'll start off with the one that's already on camera, the Lego helmets. Now, I really was quite a big fan of the style of the different Lego helmets, but I wasn't a big enough fan to collect all of them. My fiance does have the Stormtrooper head, which this is actually her model, and I got me a Rex and a Boba Fett. Now, I would have loved to have seen a few other Mandalorians and clones as helmets, but I do think that is one of the big problems that made the helmet line obsolete in the end. I already had Rex, so I weren't really intent on picking up Cody because I already had a clone. Likewise for Boba, I already had a Mandalorian. I didn't want a Din Jarin helmet and though I'd have loved to have seen a few more, I don't think I'd have picked up any more. So I really do love these helmets. Rex, I've actually built a full-on torso and legs, which does break apart as a minifigure. The video is up on my channel if you are interested, but I think this looks really, really cool and all the joints, even the hands can twirl. It's based loosely off the big fig that Lego released. And I think they also did one for Hermione and Harry. So it'd be interesting if they ever do one for Star Wars. I have a feeling that's what the new C-3PO is going to be like later this year. Perhaps a bit smaller than the helmet line, but something along them features rather than a display piece like Chewbacca. And the second set that I definitely won't be breaking apart is the very first lego star wars set that i've got you might have seen it in the short if you've come over from that it's the clone walker battle pack i really do like this it's probably one of the most accurate atrts that we've got from lego and this released all the way back in 2009 15 years ago which is crazy that it's lasted that long and in case any of you were wondering this right here is an original sticker to the set the one that i got when i bought it I did have to buy a second one because I lost the other side, but this is a 15 year old Lego sticker and it's doing quite well. Now onto the third set. It's quite a recent addition to my Lego collection and I've recently just modified it. And that is of course the Coruscant Guard Republic gunship. I love this. I'm not phased by the color. In fact, I think the fact that it's dark red and not white like a few other Star Wars models makes it stand out on a shelf. and since then we've got the new 2024 battle pack which has a slightly similar color on the speeder we've got the fighter tank and we've got kenobi's jedi starship but besides that i don't think we've got many red shuttles oh the t6 from ahsoka that's the other model that i'm thinking of that i almost forgot but i think it looks amazing on display with all the other star wars models and is a fine addition to everyone's collection if you haven't picked it up I really can't recommend it enough and definitely check out the double door modification that I made. I think we'll go back another few years to 2019 for Anakin's pod racer. This is the inspiration behind my 1 to 45 minifigure scale because that is the scale of this model. I think it looks amazing and building this whilst watching The Phantom Menace, which might have been why I spotted it so easily, it just looked exactly like the model off screen and so now everything I build is relative to Anakin's pod racer. It come with some amazing figures as well. I think it come with Anakin, Padme and Luke, which is the only Lego Star Wars set to come with a whole family, mother, father and child, which I think is a really, really cool Easter egg for those of you that may have realized it. And if not, well, now you know. So I really do like this set. The detail on this is just stunning and I don't think I'll ever be breaking it apart. The only thing I think I will change is this middle bar piece. If I am going to display it in a more permanent setting than just on my shelf, I'll probably try and remove them and hide the supports a little bit better. But as for the pod racer itself, it's a model that I don't think I could ever have the heart to break apart. And I believe the ATTE was around that 2019 time too. I actually picked this up on the way back from Harry Potter Studio. We stopped off in a Smith's and I think it was 25% off. So I picked it up, smuggled it in my bag and took it the whole way back home because this is probably my first white wow in terms of Lego Star Wars sets. And I don't tend to have too many. If I miss out on a set, I'm sort of all right with it unless it comes with 
a very, very annoying minifigure like the 212th Clone Airborne, which is probably my only other White Whale figure. So this may have been my only White Whale set. I remember seeing all the Clone Wars ships. I said about this quite recently in a video. It might have been in yesterday's video. I'm really happy I finally got my hands on it. I've packed it full of my Phase 1 Clone Troopers. And honestly, if young me could see my Lego collection now, this would be the thing that he'd be most excited to see because I've always wanted an ATTE, and for that reason alone, I think this just has to stay built. Even if I get a second one, this is my first ATTE, and it's also one of the biggest sets that I own. Now, there's not much reasoning behind the next one besides the fact it's just an iconic Star Wars ship. And I never got an X Wing when I was young because I tended to get the Imperial ships. I think the Imperial ships just look so much sleeker and so much nicer but the x-wing is an iconic star wars ship and i'm a big fan of the technic mechanism rather than the rubber bands of old the technic mechanism that pops the wings open into attack position so there are probably a few modifications you can make to this just to shape it up a bit i'm not quite sure how this scales to minifigure scale I might have to add a few plates and bricks in certain positions. I really do like the model. And just because it makes my Imperial ships look better, they're all greys and blacks. This not only stands out on the shelf, but also makes them look better because it adds a bit of diversity to that shelf as well as the A-Wing. So I think this X-Wing will stay built until I pick up the next one. And you've heard about the X-Wing. Well, back in, I think it was 2012, I got this TIE Fighter for Christmas and it holds up to a 145 minifigure scale if you were curious. The newer one was a bit smaller which is why I turned that into a TIE Interceptor but I really like this model. It's a nice swooshable model and I'm a big fan of the big plates they created for the wings because it makes the model nice and lightweight and you can picture this just cutting through the air swooshing around and i had so much fun playing with this that i think this is more of a sentimental reason why i'm keeping this together than the others because i probably could build a better one but if there's nothing wrong with this set there's no need to fix it and the last two i have a few smaller models such as this bantha from i think it was a bantha and t16 micro fighter pack but i'm not quite sure where it's from but I love this little Bamfer build. It stayed on my display since I picked up that set, which must have been coming up to about five years ago. I like the scale of it. It's not quite minifigure scale. And I think the problem's actually with the tail. The tails of Banthers are like one and a half times their length. So they are massive. But Lego did an amazing job with this. And anytime I build any sort of Tatooine display, I'll probably include this somewhere. So keep an eye out for it in the future. And as well as that micro fighter, I have a few of these mini micro builds, if you will, which I could probably display on the helmets because there is a few of them. I've got the X-Wing from last year, May 4th. I also have the tire interceptor from this year's May 4th, which are both modeled after the UCS versions of their sets, which I think is really, really cool for Lego to do because it's a great way for someone like me to get my hands on a bit of the UCS set without having to fork out the extra price. And then from January, the AAT micro poly bag, which I think is really, really cool. And I've got a new appreciation for these micro builds. What I do want to do is have a shelf display of all the micro builds and then have some MIDI scale ships, playset scale ships and minifigure scale ships the scale up to the size of this. I'd love to find a micro scale that not only works with these polybag ships, but also works with some of the land speeders and other builds we get in the advent calendars and also with the MIDI scout ships. I think that would be really cool if I can find a balance between them at some point. That would be a task for future me, but right now I just really like the look of these polybags. I can't believe I completely forgot one of these sets. In fact, I completely forgot three because it's not just one but another set that I don't think I'll ever be breaking down are the Lego Star Wars Brickhead, specifically Ahsoka. But we do also have the Mandalorian and the Mando did come in a two pack with Grogu. And I don't see us ever breaking these down because they're very close to Funko Pops, which we do also have a collection of. You can't see them, but I have a bunch of Ahsoka Pops down in a display of their own. 
And I really do like the way the Lego build these and especially with Grogu not having any printed pieces and Mandalorian and Ahsoka having very, very few printed pieces. I'm a really big fan of these sets. So that has been the 10 models that I probably won't ever break down. If you do notice them gone from my collection, be sure to bring any of them up and ask if I still have them built in my most recent videos. But let me know down below in the comments any sets that you don't think you'll ever break apart or perhaps just your favorite one you've got built at the minute. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to drop a like on your way out and subscribe for more awesome LEGO content. May the bricks be with you always.